All right, welcome to the warm up. You've survived so far, congratulations. We're gonna start with some calf raises. We're gonna go single leg today. We do have some shorter distance runs, so we wanna make sure that we start off nice and consistent, and then we work into a little bit more explosive, a little bit more ballistic, prepping for that shorter, more explosive distance that you guys got to cover today. We're gonna go both feet, driving it up through the ball of the foot. This will be our single leg calf raises. From there, we're gonna go into wall running. I believe it's 20 seconds of wall running, so we're gonna assume the position. Hands up against the wall. Remember, I want you to fall forward, lean into the wall. We're gonna pull one foot up and we're gonna go 20 seconds. So we're just gonna go alternating back and forth, relatively quick, using the hamstring to pull the foot up to the butt. As you get comfortable with those first few reps, start adding in some different cadences. And that's your wall running. From there, next piece, we're gonna move right along and into our dumbbell deadlift or kettlebell deadlift. Which one you're doing is gonna be dependent on how much equipment you have. You have one piece or do you have two pieces? Now, with your dumbbells or kettlebell, we're gonna go into five deadlifts, just nice and smooth, okay? The workout calls for 30, so we're gonna be prepping whatever range of motion you're gonna be doing. Is it gonna be a sumo, or is it gonna be out on the side like a, uh, a suitcase deadlift? I've got two dumbbells, so I'm gonna start off on the side, and I'm just gonna go five reps, nice and smooth. Send the hips back, remember to drive through the heels and stand it all the way up. Find that comfortable-ish position. And we're just gonna focus, hips back, bend at the knee, touch one head and come back up. We're gonna go five, and then we're gonna go five, hang power cleans. So I'm just gonna push the hips back, start that deadlift and then jump the dumbbells up to my shoulders, send the hips back, just like you would with a barbell, hinge, jump and catch. We'll do five and then we'll finish with five push presses. So keep the weight on the heel, dip straight down, drive straight up. Stay back on the heel, dip straight down and drive straight up. All right, so we've got three rounds of five reps each. We're gonna prime the muscles, the central nervous system, and kind of get your heart rate elevated just a little bit so that we can get ready to go for this workout. The last piece of the warm up we are going to do is burpees, push ups, and skater lunges. So from here, we are going to burpee. We're gonna just work on that nice, smooth, no gym equipment workout. So you're gonna burpee all the way down and then all the way back up, making sure the feet leave the ground at the top. From there, we're gonna transition into push-ups. So you finish that last burpee, you go back down to the ground, and we do our push-ups. And then we're gonna finish by priming that skater lunge, going from one side, loading it up, single leg squat style, explosive, and switch to the other side, switch, and switch. That'll be the final component for your warm-up. Have fun, enjoy today's workout, and we'll see you guys online.